uh, take the uh, august step of turning things over to Linda Manley, who will take the record <laughs> legal steps to formally open our meetings. Thank you. I know that Todd Sherman, representing the director of the Division of Budget, is participating in the meeting by a video conference from the New York State Division of the Budget Conference Center at the Capitol Building 131 in Albany. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Andrew Sanfilippo from the agency's is participating from the agency's um, Buffalo Regional Office at Electric. Actually, oh, wait. point of order. Oh no, Mark Schroeder is there, and Andrew is here. I apologize. No problem. Hi, Mark. I apologize. That's what happens when you read and don't look up from the screen. Uh, but I will know. Mark that you are sitting in the agency's Buffalo Regional Office, unless that moved to, at Electric Tower, 535 Washington Street, Suite 105. Good morning, Mark. I ask for motions and seconds to call to order the April 12, 2018 Audit Committee meetings of the New York State Housing Finance Agency, the New York State Affordable Housing Corporation, the State of New York Mortgage Agency, the State of New York Municipal Bond Bank Agency, and the Tobacco Settlement Financing Corporation. So moved. So we have a motion for Sunny May. I need a motion for A, for A, A, I'm sorry, H -H 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 -C. So a second. second. Thank you. I need a second for Sunny May. Second. A motion for MBBA and TSFC. So moved. So moved. And we'll take one of those as a I'll second. second. <laughs> All right. As items are presented to each committee throughout today's meetings, these motions and seconds will be used unless specific items call for a different vote or unless any committee member or director wishes to record his or her vote differently. I'll note that Kenneth Adams is the agency's chairman and will chair the audit committees for MBBA and TSFC. Joyce Miller is the audit committee chairperson for Sunny May. Nestor Davidson is the audit committee chairman for HFA and AHC. Um, audit committees and will chair the meetings for HFA and AHC. For purposes of convenience and to make sure the meetings of the respective agencies go smoothly, shared items by one or more agencies will be presented by Mr. Davidson. We'll begin with item here, one. Here. <laughs> <laughs> the following minutes shall be deemed approved, absent corrections from members and directors, adoption of the minutes of the audit committee meetings held on January 5th. 25th, 2018, uh, HFA, AHC, Sunny May, MBBA, and TSFC. So moved. All right. I don't think, I think that's an, uh, uh, deemed approved, but um, we will now move to action items. Item two, approval of internal audits work plan for fiscal year 2019. Steve. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to ask behind tab two to approve the agent, the internal audit work plan for fiscal year 2019. Um, I've used the same format as I have in the past. You have four schedules. The first one is a calendar of events. The second one is also a calendar of events, but with the budgeted hours in there. Then our audit objectives, and the last one is a summary, which gives you the amount of hours we plan to spend on substantive testing, analytical review, internal control review, and administration. But before I go into this year's plan, I'd like to just go briefly through the results of last year's plan. Um, last year's plan was approved by the Audit Committee on April 13th of 2017. Uh, we completed 10 internal audits, and we also assisted the Department of Financial Services on their audit of Sunny May. Um, however, we didn't complete the plan in its entirety. We planned to carry over a limited number of hours for the AAC audit to this year's plan. Uh, the reason for the, the not completing the plan, we attribute to the shortage where we were understaffed by one person for six months out of the year. It was difficult for us to make up those hours, but we tried our best. Uh, we're also going to carry over limited hours on the asset portfolio management audit, which was in the plan for last year. Uh, so what I'd like to do is thank the staff for their effort, for their cooperation in getting the work done. Uh, this year's plan is more aggressive than last year's. Uh, it's based on four staff and myself. Uh, we plan to do 13 internal audits, uh, three HFA, uh, two Sunny May, uh, four servicer audits, uh, an MBBA, and three integrated audits. And we're going to assist the uh, financial services group once again with their examination of site. Uh, the plan was developed after reviewing internal controls, 
uh, conducting a risk assessment uh, and vulnerability assessment and discussion with management. So we're going to ask you to approve the plan for fiscal year 2019. So now, before, if there are any questions, now before all committees, is the resolution of the Audit Committee of the State of New York Mortgage Agency, the State of New York Housing Finance Agency, the New York State Affordable Housing Corporation, <coughs> the State of New York Municipal Bond Bank Agency, and the Tobacco Settlement Financing Corporation reviewing and approving internal audits work plan for fiscal year 2019. Assuming the first and second previously entered for all five committees, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motions are carried and the resolution adopted. Item three, approval of internal audits, follow-up audit of 2016 audit reports. Yes, this is a, a different type of audit than we Sorry. normally conduct. Here we go back to the audit reports issued during that calendar year to determine if the recommendations have been implemented and the exceptions corrected as agreed to by management. During that calendar year, we conducted nine internal audits, uh, and we listed the, the titles in the report for your convenience. Uh, the result of the audit was we were able to determine that 17 of the 20 uh, recommendations and exceptions have been corrected or implemented. That's approximately 85 percent. Uh, the three that remain outstanding are listed in the report along with management's comments. Uh, and we're going to ask you to accept the report and management's response. Mr. Kelly? Yeah, I have a question as well, but you sure. go first. Um, well, first a comment, which is, you, you, you know, your full strength is four people? Yes. So you, you guys get an, you do an incredible amount of work, and no one's allowed to take vacations looking at the calendar, right? Because there's three, <laughs> four, there three is, or four per month. No, there is some. Right? Uh, we, we subtract out the vacation time and certain administrative time for training. Occasionally take a Sunday off. As, and so, <laughs> no, I just, I, just one, you know, volunteer's observation that you have a very, a real ser a, it's a very serious plan with a serious workload. What's the period, the audit cycle or period, you know, for if you take a typical unit for which you do an audit, and there's so many units, you know, across the agencies, and there's only four of you, when's the next time you, once you've done the multifamily audit, for example, in October 2000, when's the next time you're going to do that? Well, it's based on the risk. Um, the higher the risk, the more frequently we do the audit. So a high risk we do within a year, a moderate risk we do within 18 months to two years, and a low risk we can extend out to three years or more. So it's based upon that risk level, which is determined by doing a risk assessment. Is four, is, I shouldn't ask this in front of Ruth Ann, but is four, an, is it a big enough team? It's sufficient. <laughs> it's definitely, it's sufficient. I think we're, we're comfortable with the staff. Four and myself, which make five. Oh, that's really five, right? right. Well, it's obviously yeah, a big increase. It's five. It's four. That's like you just, you just, you just, you just, you just increase them by right. No, I mean seriously, it's just such a critical function. I mean, I suspect my fellow board members would agree that we would want you to have the staff and the resources to keep up with this very intense level of work and within audit cycles that, again, based on risk, but that you believe are reasonable and you know give you an ample opportunity to examine things. So uh, just on, on this item, and, and, and I'll have similar questions uh, on, on item four, but you know, for item three, it seems like we have a few recommendations that have been sitting out there since 2015. Oh. Um, and, and now we have assurance that they will all be, at least I think two of them will be implemented by next <coughs> month. Um, I just want to make sure if this has been out there for three years now, you're confident that this will actually happen next month? I think this time it will. Uh, you know, a lot of it in the follow-up is, you know, we, we tend to, to go through the process of questioning management yeah. about the target dates, and uh, the target dates that were provided in the past seem to be a little bit uh, maybe presumptuous on their part. But uh, this time we've, we've had major discussions with the people and, and basically said you know, we're not going to accept any more uh, non-compliance they have to I mean, these seem to be recommendations with which management does not disagree. How many double negatives can I get in one sentence? Yeah. But, um, <laughs> so maybe if there's some way we could just get a check-in next month. Okay. Um, just to, I mean, again, these all seem pretty straightforward, but I was struck by how long they've been sitting out there. Yeah, I Okay. Are you asking for a, um, an update at the next quarterly meeting or 
prior uh, that's to the next fine meeting. with the next board. I mean, we don't actually have a committee meeting for another quarter. Um, actually, in June. In June? Okay. Yeah. So June would be fine. Yeah. It should take 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Should. <laughs> like, I think you're up. All right. If there are no more questions, then now before the board uh, is a resolution of the audit committee for the State of New York Mortgage Agency, the State of New York Housing Finance Agency, the State of New York Affordable Housing Corporation, the State of New York Municipal Bond Bank Agency, and the Tobacco Settlement Financing Corporation reviewing and approving the internal audit follow-up audit of 2016 audit reports. Assuming the first and second previously entered for all five committees, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motions are carried and the resolution adopted. Item four, approval of internal audits, human resources audit. So here we looked at the accounting records and the systems of internal control for human resources as of uh, March 31st. Uh, the human resource group is responsible for uh, provided effective gu uh, guidelines, procedures, and policies to make sure that the agency achieves its mission and program goals. Uh, they're also responsible for recruiting staff, administration, salaries, benefits, uh, and also to assure that the agency complies with all state and federal laws and, and policies. Uh, they also maintain the employee records uh, and uh, documentation, and they also deal with vendors on benefits. Um, since our last audit in 2014, uh, the staffing roles have increased by approximately, 40, not approximately, 48 people. Uh, back in March of 2014, we had 191 people. That's increased to 239 as of the audit date. Uh, and the biweekly payrolls have increased from 274,000 to 371 for HFA, which is about a 38% increase. Uh, on the Sunny May side, it's, it's increased from about 352,000 to 502, which is a, approximately a 42% increase. Um, our audit included an analysis of the payroll uh, and its reconciliation, the benefits, the pension, the LATS, recruitment process, uh, employee folders, and also internal controls. Uh, the result was we were able to generally satisfy our audit objectives. There were five items in the report, and Management has responded to them. We're going to ask you to accept the report in response. All right. So I'm wondering. So can we talk about one, two, and three, and really one mostly? Um, so I, I I had a hard time seeing that management's response uh, was responsive, uh, and I guess I feel like I'm missing something. I'm wondering if you could explain to me. Uh, you have a rec you have an internal control recommendation that says that there are four. Uh, uh, individuals who are on the agency payroll uh, but perform minimal duties uh, benefiting the agency uh, and that that might expose the agency to financial impact of about a million dollars annually uh, and and the response from management uh, was that there was a careful review done so I'm just I feel like I'm missing something um, and there's probably a story here but that kind of left out at me when I read, read it I have Betsy Mallows here, and she's happy to Great. allude to add to management's response, but I think Steve should, it, I don't know if Steve yeah. wants to chart, and then Betsy can. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, it's it doesn't directly answer the uh, comment uh, in the fact that, you know, they're going to review the process and, and vet it out going forward. Uh, but the individuals are still on the payroll as far as I understand. Good morning. Good morning, Betsy. Mm -hmm. um, so we are working very closely to ensure that um, we are consistent with practices across the state in terms of um, folks on our payroll who are contributing. I, I believe that this is referring to the positions Right, the we're referring to. Do, do we list the position we're referring? No. To? no. Okay. No. Um, no, I apologize. That's it. Okay. Um, uh, and there's a there's a look both within our agency and across. 
So um, that mean? There's a look both within our agency and across to ensure um, that uh, individuals supported by the agency um, are contributing to the agency's work. So. So, with so these are individuals who are working um, in other parts of the state. Okay. Um, no. No, I believe the end is. We're talking about. Um, yes. There. Yes. Betsy's right. Okay. Um, supporting. Um, uh, in part housing priorities and in part other priorities. And what, we're, what we are trying to do is work um, uh, very closely with, um, uh, to ensure that we streamline and make sure that those who are on our payroll are predominantly supporting housing priorities. So the four individuals mentioned here, uh, uh, are they currently on the payroll? Yes. And you're currently undergoing a review to see what percentage of their time supports housing? Yes. Um, okay. So I guess I just, uh, as an audit committee member, uh, and I don't know whether we need to go into executive session or anything like that, but I just uh, am a little concerned uh, that, this, uh, that, that uh, this is ongoing. Um, and I guess I would like to hear more perhaps from Matt. About sort of timing and process and uh, uh, how we're going to handle this as an agency. Do you want to hear that now or do you want, or? If, sure. <laughs> um, uh, or we can take it up at another time if there's a a more appropriate moment. I don't want to put anyone on the spot. What? Would you like to table this yeah. issue and well, yeah, then we're gonna come be... back to it at the end of the meeting? Yeah, that's a good. Okay, <laughs> sure. <sighs> if that makes most sense. All right. <laughs> so let's table item. I move to table item four. All I right, guess. we will vote on it later. And move to item five. Uh, item five, resolution recommending approval of the annual evaluation by the audit committee. This one's going to be a tough one, I think. <laughs> Any comments or questions? It would be helpful if it was not sent out the couple of days before Passover <laughs> so that some of us could pay a little more uh, sure. <laughs> noted. Uh, okay. Um, Okay. Five. <laughs> so now before all five committees is a resolution of the committees of the State of New York Mortgage Agency, the State of New York Housing Finance Agency, the State of New York Affordable Housing Corporation, the State of New York Municipal Bond Bank Agency, and the Tobacco Settle Settlement Financing Corporation concerning self-evaluations. Assuming the first and second previously entered for all five committees, all in favor please signify by saying aye. 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 <coughs> Motions are carried and the resolution is adopted. The next item on the agenda is an information item. There will be no discussion on this item unless committee directors and members so desire. Item six, financial statement update for the first quarter, fiscal 2018, third quarter, fiscal 2017 for AH City. Uh, so. Uh, I think we can, we can go back to item four for a second, and, and I apologize because okay. I had a misunderstanding of, of what the issue uh, in the internal audit was. Um, and, and Betsy's explanation was, was absolutely right. There are um, uh, people serving who are on our staff and on our payroll mm -hmm. who do not necessarily physically sit in our agency's offices. They do work on housing related issues um, and so they are carried on our budgets. And that is the issue. Okay. Um, 
Uh, I guess what I would say on that is that is not clear from management's response to the audit. Uh, and just reading the materials we have, the mm -hmm. back and forth suggests. So why don't we um, amend our response to the audit and bring it to the audit committee at the next quarterly meeting? Okay, I'd appreciate that. Sure. Uh, a little bit more detail would be helpful. Thank you. I'm not an audit committee member, but it would seem to me the question that arises is to whom do they report? They have dual reporting function. Uh huh. Can Thank I you. ask a question regarding the, the one paragraph where it talks about the increase in staff members and the payroll, you know, going from 191 up to 239, and then a projected increase of three, up from 300, 301 up to, um, oh, bear with me, <laughs> going, it's going to go up at 58%, and the biweekly gross funding for payroll is going to go from 274000 to 370000 up 35%. And then a projected increase for Sunny May. Um, it's going from 352 up to 502,000. And is was what is the justification of that? So the primary driver of all the staff is obviously the housing plan, right? So last year in the budget, we got a two and a half billion dollar five year um, budget line approved. So two and a half. So if you multiply that by five, 500 million dollars a year is three times more um, in capital than agency had had previously. So in order to both Make all those loans, asset manage them, process them from the finance um, department. You know, it's sort of it's a trickle down sort of. So there's a, a fairly large um, staffing up to be able to accommodate that five year, and it, it won't just be the five years. Right, if we lend for five years, but in year six and seven we'll still be doing construction management, and eight till forever we'll still be doing asset management. So, um, uh, so we did a, a large um, staffing up to accommodate all that. And the funds are coming from where again, Rupi? We have that we budgeted them within the HFA um, uh, budget. We can accommodate that, and we work with our counterparts at DOB each year to sort of check ourselves on the, on the budget. Okay. And it's all consistent with approved budgets from the board, but right. board approved budgets. Uh, there is now no unfinished business. Uh, I ask for motions and seconds to adjourn each of the five agency members and directors meetings. So assuming the first and second previously entered for all five committees, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motions are carried and the meetings are adjourned. The next audit committee meetings are scheduled <coughs> for Tuesday, June 14th, 2018. Now governor. Back. <coughs> Is this, I want to get the right one. <laughs> yep, we're yeah. Good. All right. Good morning again, everyone. You know, when we started our first uh, mortgage ins insurance fund meeting, not everybody was here because they don't need to be. Now we have a full house with people, even Alex, on both sides of the table. Uh, so I'd like, Andrew, if you don't mind, let's do a quick round of introductions so members of our studio audience know who's before you. Uh, <laughs> and the folks on TV can turn up the volume. Andrew San Filippo, just say good morning, say yourself, we'll just go introduce yourselves around the table. Uh, good morning, my name's Andrew San Filippo. I'm an appointee of State Controller Thomas Denham. And here from Buffalo. And here from Buffalo. <laughs> here from Albany, my name is Chris Curtis. I represent the Commissioner of Tax and Finance. And here from Albany. Here from Albany. Uh, Ruth Ann Wisnowskis, Commissioner HCR. You're from New York. <laughs> yes, she is. Yes, she Not is. originally, but currently. Kenneth yeah, Adams, your chairman here somewhere between from Bronx, the Bronx and Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Attleboro representative. That's the idea. <laughs> Okay, good morning. I know we that. We haven't finished. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we're, oh. we're doing introductions. Introductions? Ah. Uh, oh, I apologize. I was whispering in uh, Nestor's ear. Sorry. Good morning. I'm, I'm Linda Mann. You don't get to escape the. Uh, Nestor Davidson, are we claiming boroughs here? No. Okay. Well, we just, Andrew claimed Buffalo because we needed to do that. <laughs> and Chris claimed. <laughs> claimed. claimed <Brooklyn>. uh, <laughs> I think Kenneth I'm, just wanted to show that we're following the governor's priorities and making sure that Buffalo is uh, uh, yes. adequate. Well represented. Literally, literally at the table. <laughs> literally at the table. I'm Dave Capel. I'm the state controller's representative to the Sunny May Board, and I'm from the small but powerful village of Greenport on East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Suffolk County, North Board. I'm Linda Baldwin. I'm the general counsel of the Department of State. I'm sitting in for Rosanna Rosado, the Secretary of State. 
Jonathan. I'm, I'm John Ballin, the most recent um, addition to the board, uh, I guess appointed by the State Senate. I'm Joyce Miller. I'm a director of a number of these boards. <laughs> I think Nestor is also all of them. Yeah, HFA, HHC, AHC, Sunny May, and the uh, Municipal Bond Bank. Is that it? And every committee too. What? Every, every committee. committee. Every committee, right? Jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. B. Gonzalez. I'm a director on the Sunny Ma board from Syracuse, New York. <laughs> this is your first visit here, right? It's my second. Oh, second. We often see you on TV. Mm. Yes. I try to be consistent <laughs> there, right? Actually, thanks for coming down. I think it's helpful to be here in person. It makes a big difference. I realized that when I was doing the self-audit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but thank you, because you, you, you introduce yourself as B, and so the formality, I think I've called you Bethida before, but it's, you go by B? I go by B. Right, good to you know. Thank you. And Bethida's a lovely name, don't Thank you. Know. <laughs> We've been calling you Bethida for two years. <laughs> and, I, and it's perfectly OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, everyone. Um, I hope that's helpful. Uh, now that we've done that, uh, we'll just turn it back over to Linda, uh, who's going to uh, get us started. All right. I know that Todd Sherman, representing the director of the Division of Budget, is <coughs> participating in the, media, in the meeting via video conference from the New York State Division of Budget uh, at the uh, New York State Division of Budget Conference at Capitol Building 131 in Albany. I'll ask for motions and seconds to call to order the April 12, 2018 Governance Committee to the New York State Finance Agency, the New York State Affordable Housing Corporation, the State of New York Mortgage Agency, the State of New York Municipal Bond Bank Agency, and the Tobacco Settlement Financing Corporation. May I have motions for HFA and AHC? So moved. Second. Motions for uh, Sunny May? So moved. Second. Thank you. And motions for MBBA and TSFC? So moved. Second. And a second. Second. Please note that agency that Kenneth Adams is the governance chair for HFA, AHC, MBBA, and TSFC. Commissioner Viznauskas is commissioner for Sunny May and will, and will chair the committee meeting for Sunny May. As items are presented to each committee throughout today's meeting, these motions and seconds, as you know, will be used unless specific items call for a different vote and unless any committee member wishes to report his or her vote differently. For purposes of convenience and to make sure that the meetings of the receptive, respective agencies go smoothly, items shared by one or more agencies will be presented by Chairman Adams. Is that a shared item? Yeah, I've got to turn the page. <laughs> well, thank you, Linda. Doesn't she do that well? <laughs> by, from memory. Uh, there are shared items. We start with item number one. The following minutes for the various committee meetings held on January 25th, 2018 shall be deemed approved. Absent corrections from members and directors. And they are the HFA Committee Governance Committee Members Meeting, the AHC Governance Committee Members Meeting, the Sunny May Governance Committee Directors Meeting, the MBBA Governance, Com Governance Committee Directors Meeting, and the TSFC Governance Committee Members Meeting. Now before the boards um, for consideration is a recommendation approving the governance committee self-evaluation. Alex Oleha is here to discuss that. Okay. So um, you, you saw the evaluation process for the board earlier this year. We did the audit and the governance committee. Um, the gov and and the, the sheets are attached with the results from the various uh, responders. The committee was created in 06 once the public authorities law was amended to uh, impose a number of new restrictions on board members. And uh, since then, one of the requirements is that we evaluate the work each year. Uh, we summarize the results. And uh, what what's I think happened to the committee, which is I think is sort of like happens to most organizations, is at the beginning, you kind of do all the uh, the formative documents and the and the you know, everything gets done really at the beginning. And as time goes by, what's happened to this committee, it's primarily essentially approving contracts uh, that we moved on purpose uh, to sort of avoid a bottleneck in the board process. So one of the things that and we do, uh, MWBE and certain governance items are still covered. But one of the comments, a couple of comments on the board members were that really to that line saying that maybe it would be a good idea 
if, since we have a number of new board members, a number of new governance committee members, if staff did a, a refresher on, uh, you know, what is the governance committee charter? Uh, how did we adopt it? How did we decide what to put in there? What do the board, uh, what does the public authority law require? Now, the board members have gone through that course, but uh, we, we can get a little more granular. And, uh, and I think we'll, we'll do that maybe in one or two sessions of the committee. Um, and that'll allow, I think, the committee members to raise questions. And as always, if there's anything in particular that governance committee members want us to cover, you know, let us know and we'll put it on the agenda. But that was the main comment. Maybe a refresher on those things. Plus, since we have a number of boards and a number of different authorities that are all meet together and work together, maybe a refresher on, you know, the legal requirement. You know, what, what, le what is each of these agencies supposed to do? What are the legal requirements? Um, so that'll make it easier when the, jo the shared items come up. So we'll, we'll be happy to do that over the next uh, over the next uh, period. And anything else? Thank you, Alex. And yes. you will also do that in the form of a PowerPoint. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Alex. Okay. Um, Linda, I think Alex has explained, you know, the process and. Okay. You want to enter the resolution? Then if there are no questions now before all five committees, is a resolution of the governance committees of the State of New York Mortgage Agency, the State of New York Housing Finance Agency, the New York State Affordable Housing Corporation, the State of New York Municipal Bond Bank Agency, and the Tobacco Settlement Financing Corporation concerning self-evaluations. Assuming the first and second previously entered for all five committees, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 <coughs> the motions are carried and the resolution is adopted. Very good. Uh, the next three items on the agenda are consent items. There will be no discussion on the following items unless board members or directors so desire. Item three is the annual review and approval of facility-related purchase orders and contracts, including review of agency insurance policies. Now before the HFA, AHC, and Sunny May committees is a resolution of the governance committees of the State of New York Mortgage Agency, the Affordable Housing Corporation, the State of New York Housing Finance Agency, authorizing contractual assignments for facilities, telecommunications, and administration services. Assuming the first and second previously entered for HFA, AHC, and Sunny May, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motions are carried and the resolution is adopted. Item four is a resolution approving and reviewing information technology services contractual agreements. Linda? Now before the HFA and Sunny May committees is a resolution of the governance committees of the State of New York Mortgage Agency and the New York State Housing Finance Agency reviewing and approving the continued retention of information technology contracts uh, with Applied Oriented Designs, Inc. and Tierpoint New York, LLC and approving expenditures under purchase order contracts with Dell Marketing, LP. Assuming the first and second previously answered for HFA, Sunny May committees, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motions are carried and the resolution is adopted. Item five is the approval of purchase order contracts with the New York Times and annual review of contracts with the New York State Legislative Bill Drafting Commissioner, the LRS system. Uh, Reed Els LCV, what is that? Um, oh, that's, the that's Lex Nex. Uh, West Publishing DBA West Group, or West Group. Sacent Inc., which is Accurant, and QC Roll Inc., which is commonly known as CQ. Right. Um, okay. Now I'll get through. Someone's going to do that. a lot of reading, from what I can tell. <laughs> uh, now, before the HFA committee, the resolution of the Covenants Committee of the State of New York Housing Finance Agency approving purchase order contracts with the New York Times and an annual review of contracts with the New York State Legislative Bill Drafting Commissioner, LRS, Reed Elsevier. Inc., LXNEX, West, West Publishing, DBA, West Group, and Cisnic, uh, which is also known as Accurant, and CQ Roll, Inc., CQ. Assuming the first and second previously entered for the HFA committee, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. The motion is carried and the resolution adopted. The next three items on the agenda are informational items. There will be no discussion on these items unless committee directors or members so desire. Item six is an annual review of the architect services agreement with Switzer Group. Item seven is an annual review of uh, agency lease with I ISACO development for the agency's office in Buffalo. Uh, and item eight is an annual review of the memorandum of understanding or an MOA with the natural, the natural Heritage Trust. Anything we need to know about those things, Linda? No. All right. 
beyond what I mean there there's nothing uh, remarkable in any of them very good well then there's no unfinished business it would seem um, that's an, that's another no, double negative that Mr. <laughs> likes. Uh, ask so. Uh, I'd like to ask you this time for motions and seconds to adjourn each of the five agencies' members and directors' committee meetings. Uh, Linda. Assuming the first and second previously entered for all five committees, all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motions are carried and the meetings adjourned. The next governance committee meetings are scheduled for June 14, 2018.